Hi, I'm Steve, and this is Single Step English. This video will help improve your pronunciation of the TH sound in English. If you enjoy this video, please click the like button below. Feel free to share it with other people as well. The TH sound can be a little tricky to learn, but with a little practice, you can master it in no time. In this video, we'll go over a few exercises that you can do to help you master this sound. First, let's talk about tongue twisters. Tongue twisters are phrases that are difficult to say quickly and accurately. They're a great way to practice the TH sound. For example, let's take a look at this challenging tongue twister. The 33 thieves thought that they thrilled the throne throughout Thursday. Shall we try it a little bit faster? The 33 thieves thought that they thrilled the throne throughout Thursday. Wow, that is challenging. However, by repeating and practicing this tongue twister, you will become better and the TH sound will become easier for you to pronounce. Next, let's talk about minimal pairs. Minimal pairs are words that differ by only one sound. For example, thick and sick. It just has one sound that is different. Practice these words correctly and Focus on the difference when you are saying the TH sound correctly, th. Here are 15 examples of minimal pairs using the TH sound in English. When you practice these minimal pairs, pay attention to the way you are saying or pronouncing the TH sound, th. Number one, think, sink. Number two, bath, path. Number three, breath, breathe. Number four, teeth, tea. Number five, with, wisp. Number six, cloth, clothes. Number seven, mouth, mouse. Number eight, booth, boot. Number nine, math, moth. Number 10, both, booth. Number 11, thin, sin. Number 12, fourth, fourth. Number 13, path, pass. Number 14, math, mass. Number 15, thing, sing. It's okay if this was difficult the first time you tried practicing them. Minimal pairs are a great way to practice every day. You can go back in this video and watch this part again and again to master your pronunciation of the TH sound. Articulation exercises are also quite helpful for learning the TH sound. These exercises train your lips and mouth to function as best as possible. To make the TH sound, place your tongue in between your top teeth and your bottom teeth, just in the middle, and you want to blow out air. And that is an articulation exercise. By practicing this, you're training your lips and your mouth to make this sound. And if you do this every day, you will improve pronouncing the TH sound. Just like a bodybuilder is getting bigger muscles, well, articulation exercises are similar because you are strengthening the muscles inside your mouth to make the TH sound. The next thing you can do to improve the TH sound is to get a mirror or stand in front of a mirror and practice saying or pronouncing the TH sound. You want to be able to see the way your mouth moves in the mirror. Pay attention to your tongue 
your lips and your teeth while you are making the TH sound. This is a great way to help you find out if you have any weakness in pronouncing the TH sound. You can see that your tongue is not in the correct position or your mouth is not in the correct position by looking in the mirror. I highly advise you to try this exercise. Next, listening and repeating are also excellent ways to practice and master the TH sound. Listen to native speakers use the TH sound and then repeat back what you hear. This will give you more confidence making the TH sound. You can easily find video or audio of native speakers making the TH sound and just take that segment of the TH sound, that part, and just listen and repeat back. Finally, you can record yourself making the TH sound and then listen to the recording so you can hear your own voice. We are often our biggest critics. We are often hard on ourselves. I think if you listen to your own voice, this will really help you improve. I know it did for me. By listening to the recording, you can compare your pronunciation to that of a native speaker. It's important to note that mastering the TH sound often takes time and practice. It's essential to keep practicing. Practice regularly. And don't be so hard on yourself. It takes time to master the TH sound. In summary, there are several exercises you can do to master the TH sound in English. I know if you practice these methods, it will help you improve. Thank you so much for watching. TH sound, thank you. See you next time.